Good morning everyone, this is Leonardo and in this video I want to show you a, a, a few simple tricks um, with filters and these are things that people that has been doing modular stuff uh, for, for a long time uh, it's completely aware of but since many of the people that, that enters into, into VCV comes from a traditional a DAW approach maybe you are not familiar with this with these things that you can do for example let's say that, that you want to make a, a drum sound in a DAW you use pick a plugin that makes drums or or you put a, sam a sample there browse a library of uh, 200,000 samples and you get the, the one that, that you the one that you want but uh, in the modular world, uh, when you want a, a drum, you try to make it with, with the stuff that you have. So uh, the simplest way of making a, a drum, let's take, let's take a clock. And then we are gonna use a filter. Let's, I wanna pick lateralus because, uh, yeah, this one's nice. So I'm gonna just uh, take this input here and I'm gonna take the 6 dB output and let's listen to it because I don't listen to anything okay so what happens it's that I'm gonna put a splitter because that way it will make easier for me to connect and disconnect things just into one place and and send the signals to the scope and to the mixer at the same time. So you can hear that the small click which just goes into the, into the into the filter. And if you if you increase the resonance, you may remember that the filters. Uh, self oscillate but what happens is that uh, in order to self oscillate the filter needs needs a, a certain amount of energy which is which is feedback but the filter uh, when there is not enough energy the filter itself consumes that energy so like in the case of the click we can see that as I increase the resonance it self oscillates for a little bit of time and then it fades if i if i put it in a, in a like in this point it's self oscillating is decaying and we already have a very basic uh, percussive sound and the decay of the sound is controlled by the resonance but since we don't have a very very fine control we, in order to extend we're gonna use a knobs i'm gonna connect i want to make it bipolar i'm gonna connect it here and just move it a little bit not much so what happens is that now i have a, a larger range of control i'm gonna move it a little bit less so as, as simple as this we can select the decay decay of, of, our, of our basic percussion or drum and select select the frequency for example let's make a kind of kick drum And that, that, that's a very basic kick drum. If we want to make it better, what we can do, uh, make a little bit more space. Well, you can always add uh, some kind of distortion. Let's take this one. I'm not gonna use 
use the distortion right now. And why did I pick the 6 dB? Is uh, is because the attenuation is is different. So this one uh, is not as strong as, as as the other, and also doesn't let pass much of the clicky sound. Like in this one, we barely can hear a click. Here we hear uh, the click better, but in this one we we hear the click. So what I'm gonna do now is th this this is a very short impulse, and we can make it more control controllable. For example, let me use spank instead. So I'm gonna take the gate, and, and I'm gonna take. Uh, just for testing purposes, I'm going to go into the hard mode and make the, the decay and the, the decay very short, the hold short as well, and the tack in the maximum. Now I'm going to connect it to the input, and we can control how, how aggressive this click is. Like very, very short, like this or a little bit stronger, like this one. If we want to make it even more interesting, we, what we can do, let's take, a, let's take a noise from the utilities and, and so what's, what's happening, I'm using the VCA and I'm inputting noise there, but the problem is that it's not, it doesn't have enough energy. This one has very little energy, maybe it's not, not a good idea. Yeah. But we can, we can combine it, maybe we can put something more aggressive than the noise. Let's take uh, something like noxious. So what's happening is that uh, depending on the frequency content, increase. This has some some frequency content, and part of it is is just passed into the filter and, and using that energy to, to to resonate. So that that's why we can hear the the, the initial click. We can also. With variation. Well, that that's a way of making a, a kick drum, but we can make it in a different way as well. Uh, instead of of taking of using the resonance of the filter as as the main as, as the main uh, control of the decay, we can just use it as, as an oscillator. We just let's put it into one point in which it's not very distorted, so it's self oscillating now. And we're gonna use uh, one envelope to control the pitch. Of that pitch bend and with this one we're going to control where it starts and as you can hear the the sound is continuous so instead of taking the sound from here we 
we put it into a, another envelope and we use it to control the, the decay. can use the breaths to make it more interesting. Or flame, I think flame is gonna sound better than this one. taking the intro this way. I think this one sounds much better. So that's it. Just this uh, small tricks to use to use a filter as oscillator and to make percussions. And maybe we can I'm gonna combine with the other with the other way of doing it. and subscribe if you want to get updates on the boot modules or small videos on tips like this one and have a good Sunday